heart is a seriously important electrical organ in the body and taurine has a lot of roles to play when it comes to cardiovascular health we'll be talking about that in the coming days but we got some folks on the line i think it's time to get to uh, our phone calls 866-582-9933 is in our nu- is our number let's go to nevada and talk to charlene what's up charlene hi uh doctor this is charmaine is how you pronounce Char- it charmaine yes you okay i'm yes. sorry charmaine go ahead and okay. by the way i'm a pharmacist just a pharmacist, not an MD. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Go I've ahead. had, uh, I developed stones in my saliva gland, which I've okay. done for about 30 years, and I have to go in and get them taken out. Oh, tough. And, yeah, and I've, you have now them, I have you, frequently you under have, my, you, how many times yes, have you had about, them? about every two years. Oh, are, gosh. Three, yeah, and I had a gland taken out, and even oh, with right. the gland out, I still develop the, Okay. I think they're calcium stones. Okay. Have you listened to this program before? Are, are you? Are, are no, you I just came in contact with uh, Andy Anderson, and he okay. told me that I should call you. Okay. Well, let me tell you one of the principles, one of the, the medical or health principles that we work with here on the Bright Side, and that is the idea that it's not so much your specific flavor of health issue that counts as much as it's the underlying breakdown of the biochemistry, the metabolism of the body. The body is always breaking down and building up, breaking down, building up, breaking down, building up. It breaks down in order to keep new tissue going. You can't put uh, new wine in old vessels, as they say. And uh, it's in the same way in the body. The body is always breaking down old tissue and building up new tissue. So you're always in this constant breakdown, build up, breakdown, build up, breakdown, build up. However, we are either net, when you add up all the breakdown and buildup reactions in the body, you're either net breakdown or net buildup. So whenever you have a disease, whether it's diabetes or cardiovascular disease or the formation of stones, uh, uh, salio-lithiosis, the uh, formation of stones in the saliva glands or the formation of gallstones or whatever your particular flavor of health issue is, what you're really looking at is the body is net breakdown. Your body is net breaking down. One of the classic manifestations of net breakdown is calcification of tissues. That is calcium leaching out of the bones and starting to deposit in different tissues. In fact, that's one of the ways we die. Our heart or our brain literally calcify. Well, guess what's happening to you, ma'am, Charmaine, in your body? Is your body is somehow, for whatever reason, your body is starting to dissolve and calcium is showing up in different parts of the body. Now, the salivary glands have very tiny openings, and when calcium stones build up in the different fluids of the body, they can block, they can form stones in different kinds of glands and different kinds of openings, and that's apparently what's happening to you. So I would be treating your stone formation in the salivary glands as a sign that your body's starting to break down. Bones are starting to dissolve. Calcium is not getting metabolized correctly. And this is this can be secondary to a lot of things. One of the most important reasons why this happens happens is the body's the, the fluids start to become acidic. Now you probably I don't know if you've heard about pH. pH is a measurement of acid or alkaline. The body's fluids, the internal milieu of the fluids of the body, the internal environment needs to be maintained at a slightly alkaline pH, around 7.4ish, 7.38 to be exact. Once you start to become acidic, calcium metabolism can suffer. That is, the body will start to leach calcium out of the bones in order to raise the pH of of the body to the alkaline status. Calcium is an alkaline mineral. So what I'd be doing first of all, if I were you, is I'd be number one, working on uh, uh, alkalinizing fluids. You may actually want to even see what your have a blood pH done and see where you're at. If you're acidotic, that can have a, a, a a lot of negative implications on your future health. Uh, So alkalinizing the body becomes very important, and the single most important way to alkalinize your system is by practicing deep breathing techniques. I know a lot of people uh, are, are eating certain foods to maintain alkalinity of the fluids, but oxygenation is the way your body is designed to maintain its alkaline status. So deep breathing techniques are very important for that. If you're if you're considering if it's if it's true that your body is acidic or your fluids are acidic, which I'm guessing it is. So deep breathing techniques number one. That's the most important thing you could do. Number two. If you're not absorbing calcium out of foods or if you're taking calcium supplements, are you on a calcium supplement, by the way? 
Charming. I just started with I okay. just started with Andy. <laughs> okay, well, if you're then you're probably not taking a calcium supplement, but chances are you notice that you have some digestive issues. And if you didn't notice, then start noticing it because it's very possible that you're not absorbing minerals and you're not absorbing calcium, especially. So you may want to start taking in digestive enzymes and probiotics and paying attention to the digestive system. One of the things we talk about here on the bright side a lot is. Take, uh, doing what's called a food diary or a food journal where you notice your digestive symptoms, you write it down in a little book, and then you write down what you ate three or four hours before. So if you bloat or you have nausea or heartburn, by the way, heartburn is very common with calcification. Do you have heartburn? Or, uh, very bad. Okay, yeah. there you go. There, you're a classic case, ma'am. You want to focus on your digestive system. It sounds like you're not absorbing calcium. It also sounds uh, like you may be, at this point, your, your body may be acidic. So get yourself on probiotics. Uh, very often when we don't absorb minerals, we have a problem absorbing oils and fats. Oils and fats are very important for the absorption of minerals. A lot of, most people don't understand this or talk about this, but if you're not absorbing fats, and 30% of Americans have fat malabsorption syndrome, calcium will not go where it needs to be. It will hang out in fluids and start to deposit in tissues, and that's where you get your stone formation. So focus on this whole stone formation in the salivary glands as a digestive issue, number one. Uh, practice deep breathing techniques, number two. And then uh, two nutrients that may be helpful for you for calcification, for all calcification issues, are vitamin K, which is a fat-soluble vitamin, which you may be having problems absorbing. Uh, so uh, get yourself on 100, maybe 200 micrograms of vitamin K2 a day. And then magnesium is extremely important for uh, helping stabilize calcium metabolism. I'd be getting on 1,000 milligrams or so of magnesium. Get that Osteomag. Ask, ask Andy for the Osteomag product, which is a good source of liquid magnesium. So here's your strategy. Strategy. Number one, you want to practice deep breathing techniques. Number two, focus on digestive health, eliminate problem foods, take probiotics and digestive enzymes. Uh, number three, magnesium and vitamin K. And then, uh, let's see, there's one, one more thing I was going to say. I don't remember what that was, actually. But focus on digestive health. That's what I'd be doing. Uh, and then calcium, uh, vitamin K and magnesium as well. Thanks so much for calling Charmaine. Stay in touch with me. I'd like to hear how you're doing. And uh, good luck with everything. All right, our number is 866-582-9933. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You are listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. I'm Kay Swirling from KSCO Radio in Santa Cruz. I'm 93 years old, and I'm a big fan of Alex Jones because he has the courage to speak his mind more than just about anyone I know. Alex is just as bothered as I am about all the advertising you hear for toxic prescription drugs that make you sicker, not healthy. I prefer to give my body all 90 essential nutrients it needs for life to prevent prevent disease, not compound it. My favorite complete supplement is Beyond Tangy Tangerine from Longevity, which I take every day along with EFA Plus and Beyond Osteo FX. I recommend you go online to InfoWarsTeam.com to purchase these products and make them part of your daily regimen to get healthy and live longer. InfoWarsTeam.com so we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866.
breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Three square meals you'll need in an emergency. So the Freeze Dry Guys three square meal unit sale is just a ticket. A variety pack of tasty, nourishing breakfast, lunch, and dinner on sale now. Breakfast is Freeze Dry Guys' favorite. Hot oatmeal and sweet dehydrated bananas. Lunch is Mountain House freeze-dried hot macaroni and cheese and crisp green beans. And dinner is Mountain House long grain wild rice pilaf and hearty beef stew, vegetables, and gravy. Call Freeze Dry Guy and ask for details on the 120 six serving three square meals unit one case normally 164.37 sale price at only 138.90 save over 25 bucks get two or three cases and save even more or ask about freeze dry guys fall chili special always free shipping to the lower 48 states call 866-404-3663 or click freeze dry guy.com and hurry the fall chili special and three square meals unit are on sale while supplies last from the freeze dry guy the finest freeze dried and dehydrated foods available for long-term storage period for over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Independently leading the way for the nation. Compelling talk for every political persuasion. We are GCN. We are back on the bright side. I am nutritional pharmacist Ben Fuchs. Thanks for joining us, friends. We're talking about cardiovascular health and amino acids for cardiovascular health, heart health, and taking your phone calls at 866-582-9933. Charmaine, if you're still listening out there, uh, try to focus on the heartburn, too. Uh, see if you notice that there's certain foods that trigger uh, trigger heartburn uh, when you do your food diary. That's a, that's a sign that uh, there could be something going on in the small intestine or the large intestine. That's something you really want to pay attention to. All right, thanks for uh, thanks for your call too, Charmaine. Hope everything works out for you. Moving on to Texas, let's talk to Tony. What's up, Tony? Hey, Doc. Um, I was wondering, you advocate not eating corn, potatoes, rice, and wheat. Uh, is, you know, is I don't brown want to say- rice- yeah, I don't want to say I advocate not eating it. I, I just want to say that they're not necessarily healthy foods and pay attention to them. We have a, in our culture today, we somehow feel like grains are health foods. They're not health foods. There may be some healthy things in grains, and there definitely are some healthy things in, in, in grains. There's B vitamins and especially the germ part of the grain. But overall, they're not healthy, and certainly if they're processed. Brown, uh, as far as brown rice goes, uh, is that what you asked about, Tony? Brown rice? Yeah, is brown rice okay? You know, it's not that it's not okay. It's certainly better than white rice. And by the way, when you're, when you're looking at brown rice, not you want the dark brown rice. There's light brown rice that has had part of the hull removed. Brown rice, um, brown rice still has its hull, and that's where a lot of the nutritional value is maintained. So brown rice certainly has more nutritional value than white rice does. White rice is an absolutely awful, awful food. Um, brown rice is not an awful, awful food, but it's just like you don't need it. If you absolutely have to have some kind of carbohydrate, some kind of sweetness, then have a little bit of brown rice over white rice. But there's no real nutritional need for brown rice or white rice. If you absolutely need to have some rice with your with your uh, Chinese food or whatever it is, then go with the brown rice. There's more nutritional value in it, but it's not a food that you need. Uh, it, it, as far as carbohydrates go, always best to stick with vegetables. You know, a lot of times people talk about low carb and people feel like I'm always down on carbohydrates. It's not that I'm down on carbohydrates. Most of our calories should be coming from carbohydrates. However, those should be vegetable carbohydrates as much as possible. When you eat vegetable carbohydrates, not only do you get the carbs, but you get wonderful phytonutrients 
uh, plant nutrients, and you also get lots of fiber that helps slow down the release of the sugar. Uh, to answer your question, brown rice is better than white, white rice, but if you can avoid brown rice, you probably it's probably best to do that as well. And thanks for calling. Appreciate it, Tony. Our number is 866-582-9933. What's going on, Matt, in D.C.? Hi, Ben. I just uh, first I wanted to thank you for everything that you do. Sure, thank you. Thank you for thanking me. And uh, my question is: I was diagnosed with atrial standstill when I was eight. I'm twenty uh, twenty seven now. Atrial? Was, I'm sorry. T- what did you say, Matt? Atrial? Atrial standstill. Kind of atrial. a rare. It's it's similar to atrial fibrillation, but I have a chamber that just doesn't okay. get an electrical impulse. Got it. Um. And I've had a lot of success lately um, doing a lot of the things that 